Hi everybody, it's Libby here. Welcome back to my channel. Long time, no see, no speak, no film, no edit. I know, I suck, I'm sorry. But I'm gonna be brutally honest with you and say for the last year, I've been finding it really hard to find inspiration and sort of like a, a want to film. And that's got nothing to do with you guys. You've always been amazing. It's just been a soul searching thing, you know, working out what I want to do, you know, whether YouTube is still the right path for me, loads of other stuff. Came to a conclusion and I was like, you know what? I've got to stop thinking about it so much because at the end of the day, it's all about loving filming and enjoying filming for you guys. So new slate, fresh start, lots of filming coming your way. And that's a promise that's like an unbreakable, weird, creepy finger promise. It's gonna happen and I just want to say thank you for sticking with me. I can't believe that I've had 15,000 people subscribe to this channel now. 15,000 real human beings, human beings that actually want to watch me prattle on about beauty and make stupid jokes. Who knew, right? So today I'm going to do my October favourites. It's going to be a favourite collection group of things from the month of October. And it's going to feature that little madam up there. I don't know if you can see her. That is Miss Suki Bambuki. She's looking very grumpy at the moment. Uh, basically, Matthew and I have a cat called Zuki. She is a darling and we rescued her and adopted her from an old man who had absolutely no idea how to look after her. He didn't understand her dietary requirements or what it means to have a cat or anything like that. He pretty much just had her for a bit of companionship and then when he realised that she was costing him too much money, he didn't want her anymore. So we adopted Miss Beautiful over there. Oh, hi, sleepy face. Now, Zuki is a British short hair blue tortoise shell. And yes, that basically means she's some fancy pants pedigree. We didn't buy her. We just got her from some old bloke um, who probably did buy her for just a reason of having some posh cat. But she is an absolute darling. And it was difficult really when we first got her because she's got so many difficult dietary requirements. Zuki is allergic to all cat food that's man-made, basically. So anything dry, anything that comes in a wet pouch, she can't have it. It get, makes her really sick. It gives her chronically bad IBS. And I think the guy that had her before just didn't really care enough about her to want to research a decent diet for her. Now, Matthew and I, at first we just had no idea what was going on. We thought, you know, is she having a hard time acclimating? you know, to a new environment. Is she poorly to go to the vets? The vet was like, ooh, I've got no idea. Uh, maybe try her on some new diet or probiotic. Um, I cheerfully want to smack that vet in the face because whoever you were, you were a douche. To be honest, Matthew took her there, so I don't even know who it is, but basically it transpires that Zuki can only eat raw meat. It's the only thing that doesn't make her sick. It's the only thing that doesn't give her diarrhea. She is like a new cat now that she's on a proper diet of course we supplement it with you know all the vitamins and minerals she could possibly need but she just can't have any sort of dry food or even wet pouches like shebas or anything like that she just can't have it so we feed her a really good diet of basically chicken mince and various organs and i'm done <laughs> just various different uh vitamins and minerals that she needs but it also transpired that when we adopted her she was pregnant um, old guy, I reckon, personally knew she was pregnant and couldn't be bothered to deal with the idea of having kittens and all that jazz. So, one random night, my parents came down to visit us and my dad walks through the front door and goes, that cat's going to have kittens! In that exact voice, that's actually what my father sounds like as well. Quite amusing. And I just brushed it off. I was like, oh, don't be silly. You know, her tummy's just really distended because she's poorly and it's swollen. It's been like that for ages. Lo and behold, just after dinner, Madam gives birth on the carpet and, well, we had four absolutely beautiful kittens. And I will insert some pictures. Three of them went to the Cats Protection, who are an amazing charity. So many people asked me, they, they were like, you know, are you going to sell them? Are you going to you know, give them away? And I just said, like, look, at least with the Cats Protection, they can properly vet 
who they're going to go to. You know, they'll do home checks. You know, you have to have had a pet before to have any any kind of cat from them. And it made me nervous the idea of putting, you know, an advert up on Gumtree or Pets for Homes or anything like that, just because for kittens, you just don't know. It could just be some family who rock up pretending to be all lovely and they're like, oh, I want to get a cat for my child. And then two months later, the child's bored of the cat and that neighbor is out on the street getting hit by a car. So none of that. We gave three of the kittens to the cat's protection and the other kitten went to a, a lovely friend of ours called Sophie. Uh, his name was Mittens, but is now Ali. So he's having a lovely life with her and her partner, Luke. So we'll check to bits. So that's basically like Suki's backstory. Uh, she's now moved up uh, with us to Glasgow and she's happy as Larry. She's currently sleeping on the back of my chair. <laughs> so yes, that's the whole Zuki tale. And I just kind of wanted to share that with you because she's been a favorite of mine since we got her in March. And the only reason I didn't show her on videos before now is just because she was so poorly and then she had kittens. And then we had to deal with like four maniacal kittens running around the house. And it was just, it was so stressful. And not to mention she was really stressed all the time. She was upset because she didn't have any time to herself. And it was all just a bit like, Woo! so she's better now. So you'll see her in videos from this point forward. But yes, she is a darling. So yes, that's the whole Zuki tale. So let's move on to beauty products now because I've got a, a good few. I wouldn't say loads, but I got a good few. Okay, so other favorites include the Herbal Essences Be Strong Strengthening Cream. Now this is like a leave-in cream and it's for damaged hair. Now my hair isn't actually damaged anymore, I wouldn't say. My hair was damaged ooh, a couple of years back, really, really, really badly damaged a couple of years back. But I tend to use things, you know, that are for damaged hair after I do sort of a fresh dye job. Only reason is because it's so drying and if you don't really nourish your ends, they're just gonna collapse. And I know that from past experience, you know, you don't want your hair to get to the stage where you can like pull hair and it'll actually stretch. It's really, really bad. So this has been really nice. Um, you can either spray it directly on the hair or you can actually just pop it into your palms like that. And I tend to favor the palm one just cause I, I'm not really very fond of sprays just because it's different with um, heat protectant, but I always find that when I'm using some kind of spray product, it doesn't disperse evenly. I guess on my nose, so I've got like bits of spray everywhere and it's really unpleasant. So it smells beautiful, which is great, but this is actually meant to be full of honey and milk, good things for your hair. And if I'm honest, I picked it up at Tesco's for like £2.30. It was on offer and I went, you know what? I could do with some kind of leave-in cream afterwards. And because I've moved recently, as you can probably tell by the background, because Matthew and I have moved, I just didn't have a leave-in to hand. And this was the first one I could see that was on offer. And I was like, you know, I'll give it a whirl. And I actually really like it. So props to Herbal Essences for doing a, a nice leave-in cream. I bought their, um, their dry and damaged shampoo and conditioner, the blue one that's got coconut in it. Beautiful, really good. Hair's feeling lovely. So I'm actually really pleasantly surprised. So I may include them in another favorites video if I continue really enjoying them, but so far so good. I really like them. So this is a bit of a winner. Two products from Bumble and Bumble. Got these on offer at Boots. Uh, it was one of their, you know, like you spend over X amount on fancy pants hair stuff and they'll give you X amount of points. I love them both. This is fab. This is so, so good for putting on your hair when it's wet after a shower or, you know, a bath, whenever you've washed your hair. Really good for popping on before your heat protectant. Now it says that it helps to, you know, your styling products to adhere evenly. I'm not really sure if it actually does that, but I will admit it is supposedly full of herbs and vitamins that are very good for conditioning your hair and soothing the scalp. It's really fantastic. It smells like rosemary, which I'm quite a fan of. I quite like rosemary as a scent, but it's a really, really, really good product. And I find that it doesn't leave my hair feeling weighed down or greasy the next day because of it. Now I tend to use the two in conjunction with one another. This is the tonic lotion and it's, it's just meant to be very, very good for your scalp. It's just vitamins, herbs, tea tree oil. It's just for goodness on your scalp and you know kind of unclogging the pores you know for your follicles and stuff like that brilliant love this absolutely amazing 
Really big fan of these two this month. Very, very happy girl over here. So that's the, the Bum Bum Bumble Prep and the Tonic. I've got two John Frieda Frizzies here. This is the normal original formula one and this is the extra strength formula. Now this is supposed to be for people who've got really coarse or coarse frizzy hair and this is just standard normal hair. If I'm being really honest, my hair is... It's been blow dried straight, which I don't do very often, if I'm being honest. But normally my hair is pretty wavy and a bit wild and a little bit coarse. I wouldn't say it's coarse coarse, I'd just say the strands are quite thick. And if I'm being really honest, I love the I love the Frizzies serum. I think it's brilliant, but I do not notice the difference between the two. You could purchase the original one, and I really don't notice the difference between the two. Um, so this is my favourite of the month, having used both. Really like it. It's very helpful for me when I want to style my hair, which I'll be honest, it doesn't happen that often. Most of the time, I leave my hair to air dry naturally. My hair isn't exactly frizzy, it's just wavy, but it does help to tame some of the flyaways that I do get. So, happy bunny with this. Soap and Glory favourite of the month has been the Mist You Madly body spray, which I'm now going to lavish myself with. This is a beautiful fragrance, and it's really light, very fresh, very fruity, and those are kind of all my favourite scents. I really like fruity smells. <laughs> and, um... It's their sort of traditional scent, the one they use in the Righteous Butter and um, I think it's on Clean On Me, their body wash. Either way, really, really lovely. I've used a good third of it, I'd say, and I've only had it about a month and a half, so really enjoying it, love the scent. Very good just to pop in the bag if you don't want to take a perfume bottle with you because I find that, I, I love having perfume on me, but the problem is, is that I, it's actually the weight of the bottle that weighs your handbag down and it's just not really worth it, I suppose, just because after like an hour my arm is aching or my shoulder feels like it's going to fall off. So I tend to pop this in and it's a lot lighter, even though there's probably a good 100 and something millilitres in here, the bottle doesn't weigh a thing. So love that, very big fan. Three things here from Makeup Designery. Um, I was sent these a couple of months back to try out and obsessed. Love it. This mascara is one of the best I've used in a really long time and that's very rich coming from somebody like me because you guys know how I feel about mascaras and how picky I am. The only mascaras I tend to rave about are the Nat Origin mascara, which to this day has still been one of my all time favorites and I really need another one because it's amazing. The L'Oreal Telescopic, as always, that's like a cult beauty favorite, brilliant mascara and the Revlon Grow Luscious mascara, which I don't think is raved about quite as much, but I like for my particular kind of eyelashes, because mine are quite soft and quite fine, and it gives them quite a nice fluffy look. But this one by Makeup Designery, this is their volumizing mascara, and it's just in black. Fantastic. Um, it's in one of those weird squeezy tubes, which in a way is actually quite cool, because it means you can get all of the formula out, because you can actually dig the wand around. The actual wand itself, looks like this and it's quite a long wand and I'd say it's got a good bit of bulky bristle to it too. Absolutely fantastic and I'm really pleasantly surprised by it. So unbelievable mascara, gives you lots of volume, lots of thickness. I don't know why I touched my hair when I had to say volume and thickness but absolutely brilliant. The other things from them that I was given was a lip gloss and this is in the shade Bear. It's apparently it's a lip glaze. I'll pop a little swatch on the back of my hand for you. Pretty standard, peachy nude, gorgeous. Really nice formula. Not too sticky, but not too liquidy. Good opaque colour and very nice over nude lipsticks like Revlon's nude one. Uh, Revlon's nude attitude, the one that looks like that. Very nice over that. Also really lovely over Max Hue, another one of my all time favourites which looks like this. And it's literally down to the quick because I use it that much. Really, really good lip gloss. And if you're looking for a nice nude gloss and you fancy trying something new, I'd recommend this. It's really, really nice. And finally, the, the Makeup Designery Eye Pencil in Black Forest. Brilliant. It's such a creamy consistency and it's so very, very thick. 
absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful thing about Black Forest, as you can see I've done like a million one swatches, has a slight greeny undertone. So it's black, but it's got green shimmers. Love it. Beautiful. Really, really nice to have something different that isn't just pure black. I mean, I know sometimes you just want to have a pure black eyeliner, but it is lovely sometimes to have a little bit of a change. Really, really pleasantly surprised by this.